Hi, my name is Will Davis, and I work with Mass360, an IBM product. Today we're going to begin talking about Unified Endpoint Management, or UEM. This is going to be a first part in a multi-part series, so definitely hit that like button and get ready to subscribe to see more content about UEM. UEM is going to be the next step in the MDM chain. What's MDM? MDM is going to be your mobile device management. This is going to give you the ability to manage all of your iOS devices and your Android devices in one place. Once you begin to have your iOS and Android devices enrolled and connected to an MDM or a UEM, you're probably going to want to begin to deploy applications, documents, email settings, containerized, etc. into those devices. And that is going to be your enterprise mobility management part of the equation here. But lastly, you'll notice that we're only talking about iOS and Android so far when we're talking about MDM. In your environment, you probably have more than just iOS and Android. So we're going to begin to mix in Windows and Mac OS. These are the last two pieces of our equation. So we're going to go ahead and add up all the pieces, and we're going to finish with our UEM here at the top. Up till now, most of the industry has worked with Windows and Mac OS kind of in their own little bubble, needing to be on the domain to get connected in, and really needing to have everything in one place to take care of it all. With the shift into UEM from separate portals, you get one unified location to manage everything together. So you no longer have to worry about coming into the office with all these Windows and Mac OS devices and plugging them in to get them joined up. You can do it all over the air with UEM. On top of just going through and enrolling all the devices, you're going to get all the benefits of an EMM for iOS and Android, and you get to extend it into your Windows and Mac OS world you're going to be able to start doing BYOD devices, corporate-owned devices as well. And with those BYOD devices, you don't have to worry about that personally identifiable information getting out into your corporate side or any of your corporate information getting into your personal side of those devices. The UEM is going to offer you options for automated enrollment programs so that turn on the device, boots right up and connects right into the UEM so you're not sitting there plugging in a lot of information, and your end users don't have to do a lot of extra work on their own. Once you go through an enrollment process, you're going to then be able to deploy restrictions down to the devices. Are you worried about cameras being used in an inappropriate place? Go ahead, turn that off. You're worried about password security? Passwords can be enforced everywhere as well. So on top of restrictions, you're also going to get compliance statuses. Your compliance status is going to then refer back into your UEM portal and let you know if they're doing anything inappropriate that they shouldn't be doing. Lastly, you're going to be able to integrate your UEM directly with your already established environments. All the hard work you already do in Active Directory, automatically integrated with a couple easy steps, get the benefits of it there as well. Your email, either in the cloud or on-prem, integrated as well. And all of those GPO rules you've already established for your Windows or Mac OS machines can be imported in and used as well inside of one place. And lastly, deploying software. You're used to plugging in flash drives or installing over file shares. Now you can deploy them over the air, easy, no extra work needed. So going over all this so far, this is just an early, simple, easy look at unified endpoint management in and how it's going to affect you. So definitely hit that like button, get subscribed, and get ready for future content in this series.